Hey guys, it's the Soil Coffee and today in this Monster Legends analysis video, we're going to be going over Poseidonia, and I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get her out of the current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Poseidonia is going to be a support cursor or attacker, you can use her as any of those, because she does have a very wide range of amazing moves. And to start things off, her traits are going to be rank 0 anticipation, rank 1 torture immunity, and rank 3 self nature protection. So yeah, all three of those are are pretty good especially rank zero and rank one and then her relics are going to be staff and amulet which are also pretty good relics and then if we go on down here to her pro she has access to negative effect removal including a zero stamina and zero cooldown one which will of course make her an amazing support she also has access to single target and aoe positive effect removal which is another great supporting skill and she has a great trait and relic slots she also has an earth move as a nature monster neat tortures and quicksands poison and drown and she's real fast and her only cons are terrible power and mediocre life but i'm not sure if you were going to want to use her as an attacker anyway i mean she definitely can be an attacker but i'd probably stick to her as a support and that is of course because she has the ner and aoe per and we have a few different movesets here we have the first one for support which is going to be the positive effect removal poison and quicksand single target move as well as a ner with nature immunity and heal and a team heal and then an ally NER or an AoE positive effect removal, which I would probably do the AoE positive effect removal. And then we also have the cursor move set, which is going to use the quicksands move. It also is going to use the AoE PER with drowned. And then it has two new moves in the poison reverse ceiling and the AoE quicksand. So yeah, pretty decent move for a cursor. And then we also have the attacker, which is going to use the run anchor sweep, which is the nature damage with PER, poison, and quicksand. And then it also uses the rich ecosystem move which is going to be the ally NER with nature immunity and heal and uses the olive of the sea and chain sweep which are going to be the aoe 30 nature damage with poison reverse healing and aoe earth damage with quicksand so yeah her attacker moveset is definitely the weakest one out of the three i do think that her best setup is the support setup it's just very very powerful she has a lot of great support moves so yeah if you get this monster definitely go and use her as a support use these recommended runes and you should be good to go. She does seem very, very good. So yeah, that's one we have for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you end up getting this monster out of the current breeding event. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.